Inside Moorhead State Basketball is brought to you by The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west, go Reno's. First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care, one patient at a time. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hills since 1963. The Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home of the Moorhead State Eagles. Commonwealth Chiropractic. And Stander for Builders Paving of West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Inside Moorhead State Basketball, coming to you today from Evansville, Indiana, on the banks of the Ohio River. We are inside the Ford Center, one of the most beautiful mid-major college arenas in the country and the host site of the 2021 Ohio Valley Conference Basketball Tournament. And welcome inside the concourse at the Ford Center, just a few feet away from the basketball court. And it is wonderful to be joined by a good friend of mine, Kyle Schwartz, who is the Assistant Director for Strategic Communications for the OVC. And Kyle, first of all, welcome and uh, thanks for being thanks with for us. Thanks for having me, Dave. It's yeah. great to be on. Great, great to have you. Evansville has been very good to the OVC. Four years ago, you moved the tournament from your hometown of Nashville to Evansville. At the time, did you think it was going to be this kind of fit? Unknown. It's like what, it's a brand new. You've been in Nashville 19 of 20 years, sure. so some uncertainty, but it's been a home run. It's just the Hoosier hospitality, is like they have to say here. Uh, and this building is incredible, and it's great for the fans, it's great for the student athletes. It's just a championship experience. Now, Kyle is a native of Flemingsburg, Kentucky, very nearby to Moorhead, and he's also a graduate of the University of Kentucky. Because, so, in a sense, you, you are a hometown guy to Moorhead. So, when you grow up uh, close to Moorhead, you know, Flemingsburg, when I was little, you had to go there to go to the movies or go to Walmart <laughs> or whatever it was. So, my mom is a graduate of Moorhead State, so uh, it's, Moorhead has been in my blood, uh, I guess, my entire life. Being a local guy from, from that community, how, how proud are you? And I, I know you can't have rooting interest in your position, obviously, but how proud are you of the job that Preston Spradlin has done at MSU? I have 12 favorite teams, so everybody knows every team's my yeah. favorite. Preston's done great. He's great to work with from a media perspective and uh, when he has coaches means to be in. So to be the coach of the year, I think people saw it coming when preseason polls don't mean anything, but you're picked eighth and you finish second and you win 17 games, people will take notice. So it's great. When Moorhead is good at basketball, it's good for the OVC. Kyle, thanks for being with thanks, us. David, really it. great to have you on the show. And I'll tell you what, this guy is, is, is among the best in the business. He's great at his job. Almost 20 years in the business, right? You're dating me. How old I am? <laughs> yes, and 15 at the OVC. Yes, so. that's great. Kyle, thanks for thanks, being David. on the show. And stay with us on this OVC tournament special edition of Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Later in the show, highlights of Saturday night's championship game pitting the OVC's top two teams Belmont and Moorhead State but first we'll lead up to the big game with the Eagles opening round victory over Southeast Missouri and then the semi-final win over the arch rival EKU Colonels that's all still to come right here on Inside Moorhead State Basketball My great-grandfather opened the first Hinton Mill store back in 1918. Our family opened our first feed mill in the mid-1950s. We now have five locations and a wide range of products including feed, seed, fertilizer, crop protection, animal health products, fencing materials, and pet food. Though times have changed, our commitment to providing you with the highest quality products and knowledgeable customer service is as strong as ever. I'm Adam Hinton 
inviting you to stop in and see for yourself. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. At the Citizens Bank, we have totally free checking and a free gift. When you combine totally free checking with the best people and the best service, do you know what you get? The best bank. Being the best bank makes it easy for our customers to refer their friends and family to bank with the best too. Every referral gets another free gift. So come bank with the best, the Citizens Bank, home of totally free checking and a free gift. Member FDIC. There's no better way to spend the day than with lunch or dinner at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Enjoy delicious steak, chicken and ribs, along with our trademark honey butter rolls and hometown hospitality. Hi, I'm Tim Kogan. I promise to provide 100% guest satisfaction here at Reno's Roadhouse in Moorhead. Go wild! Go west! Go Reno's! Woo! Hi, I'm Gary Markham. Proud Moorhead State alum and managing partner of Tim Shore Auto Group. I'd like to welcome you to our state-of-the-art facility on Kentucky 801, just off I-64. We offer new Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ford makes, along with a wide selection of quality pre-owned vehicles. We now invite you to take the short drive to Satisfaction in Moorhead or our two newest locations, Maysville and Lexington. We are Tim Short Auto Group. Eagle Game Highlights is sponsored by Wendy's of Moorhead. Fresh, never frozen. Opening round of the OVC tournament, number seven seed Southeast Missouri taking on second seeded Moorhead State. Conference freshman of the year, Janai Broom, had quite the postseason debut, scoring seven points in the first two minutes of the game, including this incredible scoop shot in the lane. Davon Cooper then drives and finishes at the rim. Eagles take a 9-2 lead at the 16-25 mark. MSU getting a big lift off the bench from big man Janai Broom, who scored six points in 14 minutes of action. Eagles get out in transition. Talon Cooper finds Broom for the layup. Moorhead stayed up 17-10 midway through the first half. Then Cooper does it himself, taking the Skyler Potter pass and draining the corner three. Eagles with a 24-12 lead. More from Cooper, this time attacking the rim and finishing strong off the glass. Late in the first half, Simo's Eric Reed pulls the trigger on a three ball. It's good, Red Hawks within six. But hold on, Cooper's got time for another shot. Talon crosses half court and launches the 35 footer that beats the buzzer. Eagles take a 29-20 lead at intermission. Simo quickly cuts into that deficit early in the second. Nana Akinton hits back-to-back -back triples. The second at the 16:45 mark to pull his team within one, 29-28. But Talon Cooper had the answer and then some. First with a pull-up jumper just inside the free throw line. Then Cooper drives the lane, takes the contact and finishes with the spinning jump shot in the lane. And then one more time, Cooper goes strong to the basket and sticks home the layup. Talon with a game high 17 points and three assists. Davon Cooper with 12 points and five rebounds. He gets the sweet finger roll to fall. Skyler Potter didn't have the best shooting night but his lone three-pointer was a big one, giving MSU an eight-point lead with eight minutes remaining. Eagles go back to Janai Broom once more. He gets the friendly roll on the jump shot from the baseline, and then Moorhead State puts the game away. Potter throws the outlet pass to Davon Cooper. He goes in for the two-handed slam. The Eagles survive and advance to the semifinal round of the OVC tournament with a seven-point win over Southeast Missouri. We told our guys that the, the battles that we've been through down the stretch, that they were going to pay off for us because once you get to Evansville, the top eight teams, there aren't too many blowout games. Everybody's good, everybody's battle tested, and there's going to be close games and the teams that have the experience and the confidence to win those are going to be the ones that come out victorious. Uh, this year, we just came with a different mindset. We, um, came in here it was just like we know how to how, we know how to feel to lose so coming in here was just like it's just we gotta give it our all coming next second see everybody's gonna give us a give us their best shot so we'll come prepared to play uh, tonight's game was a uh, physical game 
uh, you know, coming out, we didn't get a lot of calls in the beginning of the first half. Coach told us just to be tough. I mean, in practice, what we work on just being tough every day. Don't get us calls in practice. So this is what we came to do is just be tough. You know, we're going to do our best to go to sleep tonight. Uh, I think uh, we get a little bit of time in the in the arena tomorrow, maybe 1030. So we'll get up and uh, probably just have a, a quick breakfast, come over here. Uh, we'll use all 30 minutes of that time. We'll get a lot of shots up. Uh, we'll have a little bit of drill work and, and things that, you know, just offensively that um, that will maybe be applicable to both teams because we're going to play two really good teams that are both really physical and take you out of your offense. And so it's going to be a very different game uh, than the one we've seen the past few weeks. And so we got to get prepared for that. Obviously, I haven't played Eastern Kentucky in a long time. And then we'll just spend a lot of time with each other. That's what we do. You know, uh, hanging out in a hotel is not uh, the most glamorous thing for most teams, but that's – our guys like being around each other, so I'm sure we'll have a couple really good meals and uh, just spend some time with each other watching some film. We might get everybody together tomorrow night and, and uh, watch this game as we scout it and uh, see who we're going to play on Friday night. First National Bank, we believe in banking made easy. Whether it's a checking or savings account or a loan for a home or auto, First National Bank is a place for you. First National Bank is proud to be part of this community and a sponsor of this show. Good luck to Coach Bradlin and his staff on their season. Banking at First National is easy as one, two, three. Let us assist you with all your banking needs. First National Bank, equal housing lender, member FDIC. After having gastric sleeve, I immediately saw results. Before the surgery, I had lost 25 pounds, and after the surgery, I lost 105 within nine months. As soon as I met Dr. Lynch, I, I knew he was the guy. The support that I received through the whole team at St. Clair, even down to the receptionist, everyone was on my side. It gave me the jump start that I needed to change my life. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware is celebrating more than 40 years as a locally owned and operated family business in Moorhead. We would like to thank our valued customers for your loyalty and trust and pledge to continue supplying the best quality service by our hometown employees. Big Four Lumber is a staple of the Moorhead Round County community. We take great pride in giving back and invite you to join us for our many customer appreciation events throughout the year. That's Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, 1470 Flemingsburg Road in Moorhead. At Eagle Finance, our motto is simple, loans made easy, payments made affordable. We specialize in personal loans from $1,000 to $10,000. Do you need a loan for auto repair, vacations, or other expenses? How about consolidating debt or paying off medical or dental bills? Eagle Finance is here to help. Stop by and see branch manager Bill McGee and his staff at Eagle Finance, or visit us online at eagle.com. This segment of Inside Moorhead State Basketball is sponsored by U.S. Bank. All of us serving you. The oldest rivalry in the Ohio Valley Conference, the Eastern Kentucky Colonels and Moorhead State Eagles, a highly anticipated matchup in the semifinal round of the conference tournament. The Colonels come out on fire thanks to freshman point guard Wendell Green Jr. He pulls up and knocks down the three, and there's more where that came from. Green, from 27 feet out, no problem. Then Green again, from 30 feet out. Are you serious? He hits another one. Colonel's up 16 to 12 at the 10.45 mark. But Moorhead State tightens the defense. Skyler Potter with a steal. He goes the distance for the two-handed slam. By Skyler Potter. And then Davon Cooper starts to heat up. A huge night for the junior guard. The deep three is good. Then Cooper sees an opening. 
and drives the lane, hitting the contested bank shot in the paint. How about more from Cooper? Another triple, this time off the left wing. With 24 seconds remaining in the first half, Eagles erase a nine-point deficit with a 12-0 run to take a 31-28 lead at the break. Second half, Davon Cooper picks up right where he left off. Another triple is money, Eagles up 37-31. But Wendell Green had an answer for EKU. The impossible runner over the outstretched, James Baker is good. And then Green does it again, takes Baker off the dribble and puts it off the glass. EKU ties the game at 51, Green with a game high, 29 points. But the Eagles get a much needed transition basket. Talon Cooper with the steal, throws it ahead to Skylar Potter for the layup. And then it's OVC freshman of the year, Janai Broom. He goes to work late. The sweet turnaround jumper is good. Next possession, the big man goes off the glass with the left hand. Broom with yet another double-double, 17 points and 13 rebounds. But it would come down to free throw shooting. And Davon Cooper was up to the task. Cooper hitting four of four free throws in the final 18 seconds. He's now hit 24 straight over the last three games. Cooper finishing with a team high, 25 points, and the Eagles needed every one of them. Colonels with one last shot in regulation. Green drives the length of the court, but cannot get a good look as the shot kicks hard off the glass. Moorhead State wins a thriller over arch rival EKU advancing to Saturday's championship game versus Belmont. I mean, first of all, hats off to, to Eastern Kentucky. Uh, fantastic season. They did a, an unbelievable job. And uh, what a great college basketball game. That's what the OVC tournament is about, uh, coming down to the wire. Uh, made enough plays. Davon, huge, especially ending the half with a couple big threes, driving the ball, beating the press. Uh, but I'm just really proud of our guys, their overall effort of just, just staying the course and, and sticking together for a really hard fought win. Since I was little, I just, uh, I've been, I've been built for this moment right here. Just when I go to the free throw line, I tell myself I'm built for it. So when I go to the line, I know I'm going to make those. We just had to get settled in in the first half. We was turning over a little bit to the press and then we made some adjustments. And in the second half, we didn't turn this over so much in the second half against the press. So, and with my free throws, I mean, I just been working on them coming down the stretch to, to knock them in. I thought our guys, Matt, just had great belief. You know, we tell them all the time, keep trusting your defense, trust what we do. It's proven we're the best in the league defensively um, and it'll work. And, um, you know, Wendell Green, give him credit. He hit two, maybe three threes, eight feet behind the lines, felt like, in the first half. And um, our guys, we, and then he made a couple, you know, tough twos in the paint in the second half. Well, that was our game plan. You know, can he make enough of those to beat us? We just kept telling the guys that. And that's a hard thing for 18 to 22 year olds to keep coming to the huddle and hearing when he's scoring baskets. His coach, he's, you know, he, he's making these. Yeah, but we're up. You know, that's that's the thing, you know, stick to the plan, believe in what we're telling you. And, and to the credit, our guys did that. And uh, the result was what we wanted it to be. With the victory, the Eagles move on to the OVC championship game on Saturday night. Highlights are straight ahead on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. These days, banking like basketball moves at a fast pace. At Commercial Bank, that same fast pace comes to life with our lenders. We're fast with local loan decisions. Bankers who you know and who know you. Simply put, it's better banking. Commercial Bank, where friendliness prevails. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Pain is your body's way of telling you that something's wrong. Stress from a car accident, work injuries, aggravation, or even unknown aches can manifest and become worse months or years down the road. Take the initiative and take care of your body. Dr. Chris Skinner at Commonwealth Chiropractic in Moorhead has a locally owned practice that pledges to treat everyone like family. And he's the official chiropractor for Moorhead State Athletics. Located off the US 60 bypass, just west of City Park next to iStyle Salon, call today, 783-0233. At Total Care Pharmacy, they do so much more than just fill your prescriptions. 
They have a nice selection of gifts and apparel with free gift wrapping and free delivery within Moorhead City limits. Plus, you can save money and earn rewards through their loyalty program. Total Care Pharmacy cares about the community. That's why they offer vaccinations, a diabetes education program, and a wide selection of diabetic shoes. Stop in and see the fine folks at Total Care Pharmacy, 206 West Main Street in Moorhead. Potter into the front court to Baker, now to Broom. Foul line, left corner, Cooper three, got it. Three point basket by Talon Cooper. Outlets into the front court, and the kick out. Open three ball, good by Devon And all of a sudden, Moorhead State is up by nine. Moorhead State into the front court. Seabree has just checked into the game. He wears number 23. Cooper left wing, good. Basket. So long to Cooper's Long second Cooper. tray. Baker looks down low for Broom, who wheels. A little half hook is good. Basketball tonight, Broom. Cooper, foul line, gets into the lane, lays it up and in. Basketball, Davon Cooper. Seabree on the left wing, it goes to Cooper. They get it down low, Broom. Spinning five footer is good. Basketball, tonight, Broom. The right hand. Front court has it taken away by Seabree. It's one on one against one driving layup good. Basket by Jalen Seabree. Jalen Seabree with the steal. And the lead is up to 12. Baker, top of the key to Cooper. They go cross court to Lon Cooper. Baseline driving for a layup good. Basket by Talon Cooper. Broom now gets a double team as Grayson Murphy comes over. They try to get it down low, and the layup is good by Potter and a chance at a three-point play. They get it to Broom on the block. He goes cross-court to Hunt. Hunt, top of the key. Long three, Three-point That was five. Here's 12 point, and the lead's back to 13. Cooper guarded by Derek Saban, who's just checked in. Shot clock's down to five. They get it down low to Broom at two. Fall away, eight-footer is good. Oh, wow. That is one tough shot right there. On the left wing, Seabree driving. The shot is no good. Offensive rebound, Broom. He just threw it up there and it went. He just flung it up there. He's got 23. Left corner, starting a drive. The shot no good, tapped up by Broom. He is taken over. Backing Luke Smith down. Still backing, goes cross court, the other Cooper. Three ball, good. Three point basket Holy by Davon Cooper. 20 point lead. Talon Cooper driving into the lane. It's tapped up and in by Bryan. Basketball, LJ Bryan. Broom goes cross court to Potter. Potter on the right wing, starts a drive, gets into the lane, lays it up and in. Potter. Uzinski comes out of the game after committing a foul. Front court, Baker lays it up and in. Baker got a two on one after the pressure. Game clock down to 15 seconds. Looks like Belmont is now going to say, okay, this one's over. And so tonight, Moorhead State will cut down the nets as the OVC tournament champion, your final in Evansville, Moorhead State 86, Belmont 71. But it's an honor um, to win this league. I mean, we have an unbelievable conference. The schools, the coaches, the players in this league, it's, it's a really high level basketball league. I wish it got more national recognition than it does. So to, to be in the position to win a championship, um, it really means a lot because it's a big one to win. And I'm just so proud of our guys. Um, they just, their faith is unbelievable. They've had great belief 
Um, since day one, we never talked about winning a championship. We never talked about winning 20 games. We, we literally talked every day about getting better and challenging yourself, uh, holding your teammates to a high standard and just getting better every day. And that was literally the pregame speech today was we've gotten better since the last time we had the opportunity to play Belmont a week ago. We're better this Saturday than we were last Saturday. That's our goal. Let's go out. Let's prove it. And um, those guys played unbelievable tonight. Um, it feels good. My team put in a lot of work to, since, since we got to, got to school. And winning this championship means a lot to us. Yeah, a lot of people doubted us, but we just used it as motivation. And just our motto from the beginning was to get better every day. And that's what we did. And now we're OPC champs. Feels great, personally. Uh, going, going, coming from my last school, we got a, uh, we got to the championship and lost and fell short. So being able to win this one feels good. It's amazing being able to put the uh, the people that come to practice and, and don't get as many minutes, being able to put them in that posi position to get a championship ring. Feels great to me. Week from tomorrow, find out who we're going to play. Um, we're going to focus this week on enjoying this and getting better, staying humble. And then when the time comes to figure out who we're going to play, we're going to make sure these guys are ready and they'll be ready. Thanks for being with us for this OVC tournament edition from the Ford Center in Evansville, Indiana. And on behalf of Kyle Schwartz and Preston Spradlin, I'm David Patrick, and we will see you next week right here on Inside Moorhead State Basketball. Inside Moorhead State Basketball was brought to you by The Citizens Bank, the home of totally free checking. Tim Short Auto Group, take the short drive to satisfaction. Eagle Finance, loans made easy, payments made affordable. Hinton Mills, serving farmers since 1918. St. Clair Healthcare, amazing medicine close to home. Reno's Roadhouse, go wild, go west. Go Reno's! First National Bank, a tradition of value and convenience. Total Care Pharmacy, dispensing care, one patient at a time. West Liberty Veterinary Clinic, serving the hill since 1963. The Kentucky Welding Institute, experience that's built, not bought. Commercial Bank of West Liberty, a source of strength for more than 100 years. Big Four Lumber Ace Hardware, the helpful place. Wendy's of Moorhead, fresh, never frozen. U.S. Bank, all of us serving you. Eagle Trace Golf Course, the home of the Moorhead State Eagles. Commonwealth Chiropractic. And Stander for Builders Paving of West Liberty. Quality work at affordable prices. That's how we roll.